Hello beautiful people on the internet. Today we are going to be taking a look at a game I had today and it is against Imperius and we will get to see how you can use information you have in order to win. So let's take a look at this. Um, we have quite some standard openings, at least my, my opening, it's uh, the Double Warrior Illyrian opening and they are using the standard Imperius opening which is just turn zero, upgrade your capital. I'm just going to keep off the uh, fog, first couple of turns are quite boring, uh, our opponents actually Yeah, they they managed to find a city, a uh, village, a turn later than I do, and we have quite some interesting terrain because there's only one piece of land that is connecting us, and we will get to see that in a bit. So we take forestry. This is uh, quite usual for the, uh, the situation as long as you don't have to fight immediately against your opponent you can take forestry and continue the economic path so what does our opponent do? they go with the choice of taking the ruin instead of the village I think that's just wrong very very wrong but sure they 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 chose violence I guess so we are expanding quite rapidly they take two technologies because they get stars from the ruin and of course that is something you can do but it it doesn't make sense I mean, I, I do know that you are going to need them, but you don't know where I am, and just don't take them yet. Come on, have some patience. We move on to Ruin, we've seen that this one's in water, and we're just expanding a bit. So they're upgrading, they take some resources of course then they take farming they they really love to research some technologies we got an explorer and by now we get to see all of this nice terrain take riding of course they get quite some good turns actually if you look at their economy it's growing quite rapidly but that's only uh, for a brief amount of time because we will be also growing our economy as you do with Illyrian economy they're at 13 stars per turn at turn 7 which is not bad they take an explorer which goes basically the wrong way for them upgrades end of turn 7 they have an economy of 18 stars per turn I believe 17 so we are actually not doing too great and the turns are going by quite quickly and here we start to turn the tides even though we have not met them yet we are expanding so rapidly we are going all over the place capturing a gazillion cities placing our sanctuaries and we also have roads oh no that's that's next turn they have roads they have 17 stars per turn and into going turn 10 
uh, 21 stars per turn for us. So we actually surpassed them economy wise. And this is this is the best turn I've seen in a while. Turn 10. We expand a little bit. We connect almost all of our cities. Take resources. Upgrade our cities. And then we take an explorer here. And that reveals some of their cities. Let's go back, yep. And then we go the economic route, of course. We plop down this monument. Upgrade our cities. And then we have 33 stars per turn, which is fantastic at turn 10. They're just doing some simple stuff. Their explorer moves towards us, which is great for them, but it is not towards our core. They pick border growth. I don't know why. That just seemed to them like the, the right pick, I guess. And we are just growing our army, some basic stuff. So what we could have done at this point, because I'll get to that in a bit. Uh, we should probably have uh, gone with a uh, more aggressive approach. Although, there's one problem with that. And that problem is over here. They have giants. We don't. And... So, what's happening here... I can explain why I did the thing that I do and it's quite interesting so I choose to go into defense mode because there's there's two forests here and there's this uh, mountain range over here and they are terminal tiles so we th the movement through this is incredibly slow which is terrible because we have riders we want to swiftly move in hit something then go out that's not how it works we can't move away from this 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 is not the way to go so I go with mathematics and although we go for the mathematics we still try to like make them feel like they have to go into defense which they kind of do and they have two giants coming our way and that is not too great for us we have some some great 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 turns over here and we start going to defense mode. As you can see, catapults. We can defend this city quite easily as long as we get like three catapults. And that's what we do. We actually managed to also stay on this village. Which, I mean, it didn't matter all that much in this game. But it's could have been a very nice way for us to get attacking. They get an explorer here. I mean, it, it didn't do all that much. And at this point in time, I really feel like we're doing a great job. So I'm just going to go into defense mode. Upgrade the city, take a wall, and then this is this is one important turn, and I am going to put on the replay fog. We already have quite a lot of vision on that. We know that these giants are coming, so we're preparing for that, and 
here we get an explorer who we know is going to go the right way and we get vision on their capital and basically all of their cities this is the point at which I know alright there's going to be giants coming like all over the place we need to go into defense mode and we are going to slowly take over the game this is the point where I get my first dragon egg get some resources explore this a bit go to turn off the fog again and as you can see our turns are taking way way longer than theirs what is also weird now that I think about it is this they have vision on their capitals ca uh, catapults and they still try to go into the offensive with these giants even though they should probably know that they can't capture this they they won't even get close so I think that's a huge mistake on their part going to turn those off again at this point we are basically just trying to lock in the game just going to make sure that we can defend this and they have chosen to go into defense mode as well which basically transformed this into one big sit creek. We actually man managed to land uh, a siege on this city, which it was fun, but it didn't matter all that much. See, this this is what I mean with they can't siege this. I'm just going to unsiege, and then their giant is dead. So that I don't see why they did that. And we just can't get into good offensive mode until we get chivalry. But to do that, we want to upgrade our economy just a little bit more. And by the way, we already are big time in the lead with economy. And we also have so many more cities. So many more. So they only have 18 stars per turn, they come back to up to 24. And at this point, I think it's quite clearly over already. So I'm just going to into overkill mode, just for fun. Get our economy up. Siege their city again. And they go, they, they see this as well, that they have to either get offensive and capture or lose the game S and so they are trying to go into chivalry right here and yeah they either should have done that like way way before or they should have gone with the completely defensive mode opening for Imperius or they should have gone with the completely offensive and now they took like a weird economy based strategy and these are the last couple of turns here and what we are going to see here they are placing their catapults in in lines and if there's one thing you should remember about late games and chivalry and catapults is that you shouldn't place them in like one big blob because what actually put the final nail in the coffin for this opponent you'll get to see in a bit when we get our knight going push it 
go into defense, get some more economy going, just just for flex. 77 stars per turn, that should be fine. They think, alright, we are going into semi-offense mode, and we have the one thing that determined that we actually got to win this, which is that we have all of this information already. We we actually like we know we know everything. What's what's going on? We 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 have we have all the information we need. And they they know a couple of things, sure. But they don't know what's going on over in this white corner over here. So they don't know yet that we have chivalry. Although they they could have like read that from us basically. Because, well, we have such a strong economy that we can just do whatever we want. And what's going to happen here is we are going to kill this giant with our stuff in a bit. And there will be a juicy chain. And just for fun we are going to upgrade our economy still war just in case they pull out some kind of trick get some more dragon eggs just because they're nice economy of 90 stars per turn that should be plenty and they managed to siege our city which is actually exactly what we wanted we wanted that to happen and I think this is a huge mistake f from their part. They knew that we have a knight and they still just tried to siege and overpower us with just some some giants. So in response we do exactly what we wanted which is bonk 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 and then that was it. It's game over. They are not going to recover from this. And that was it. So what can we get out of this game? First of all, get your economy cooking, but also expand. We managed to take over a huge portion of the map. And they actually didn't do a great job at that. And so what happened from that is that we were just overpowering them uh, all throughout the game. We were just managing to siege them all over the place. Uh, trying to get some, some stuff going. And the main part of how we managed to fight them is through the information we had that they didn't know we had so we knew basically everything was that was going on and they only knew part of what was going on all right so that's fine um so we were able to just slap them around basically and I mean they weren't bad they definitely managed to defend this part which was their way to secure their land until we managed to come in with a knight and just slap them slap them as hard as we could into the center of their empire and after that they wouldn't have stood a chance so they gave up 
And I think that that was reasonable. Yeah, we, we definitely had the game. Alright, so that's it for today. Uh, if you like this video, sure to check out some of my other content about Polytopia and how we slap around all of these turn zero tryhards. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.